Excellencies, His Holiness Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, Honorable Chairperson of the Conference, Ms. Bhanumati, Distinguished Participants, Representatives of the Print and Electronic Media, Distinguished Guests, a very good morning to you all. It is indeed a great honor and a rare privilege for me to be present here this morning at the International Women's Conference on Women and Technology. I take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of myself and also on behalf of the government of Bangladesh and the people of Bangladesh to the Institute of Art of Living and the International Association of Human Values in Bangalore and also to Sri Sri Ravi Shankar and also the chairperson Bhanumati and the distinguished organizers of this conference for the kind invitation to join the great celebration. It is a tremendous experience to be among such an august gathering of such distinguished women from more than 55 countries around the globe and to share and discuss how technology can be an aid in ensuring empowerment of women. The beauty of the theme, Women and Technology, is actually embedded in how to connect spirituality and technology. And that is what we all aspire to learn through this three-day-long conference here. I would also like to thank for the warm hospitality that has been extended to us to be here in such a wonderful, serene surrounding in the Institute of Art of Living. It is always a great joy to take part in any event in the neighboring country, India, where Bangladesh and India enjoy such a strong bond of friendship. And this joy knows no bound when we are in the Institute of Art of Living and have an opportunity to see all the different projects and work that is being undertaken by this institute and also its endeavor in the last 30 years journey to work on women empowerment, disaster and climate change management and many more other issues and particularly in promoting human values. Women hold up half the sky. Women are important and active agents of social and economic transformation. Women's development is no longer an isolated issue but it is smart economics. And I am confident that this conference will be an excellent platform to share the mutual experiences and best practices in our respective countries in ensuring gender equality, mainstreaming gender in the development agenda, and how we can combine the human values and spirituality in using technology to empower our lives. It is hoped that we will enrich ourselves through this process of sharing. Bangladesh is progressing well in ensuring women empowerment. Gender equality is a high priority agenda of the government and extensive work is being undertaken under the social safety net programs, the training programs, to enable the economic empowerment of women and also the social empowerment and political empowerment. Our Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, is a lady. She's a woman. Our opposition leader, our deputy leader in the House, is also a woman. So we have women leadership at the high echelon. And the cabinet comprises of six women ministers, including the Honorable Prime Minister. The parliament has 19 directly elected women ministers and 50 from the reserve seats. Altogether, it constitutes about more 69 
and which is more about close to 20%. And there is a trend of increase in the political empowerment. We have in the local government women representations through direct election at the union level and at the sub-district level. And one of the women vice chairmen at the local level directly elected is also joining this conference here from Bangladesh as a representative. I earnestly hope that we will take forward and we will enrich ourselves and will take forward with us back home at the end of the conference the enthusiasm, the inspiration that human values and spirituality can contribute in empowering women through effective use of technology. Thank you all for your kind attention.